And then, you know, ever since then, you know, me and Bishop, you know, we had our little ups and downs. You know, one time I said something <laughs> slick in the magazine. I said, man, you know, I ain't with that church shit. And, oh, uh, damn. Nah, nah, I, I, I was doing it because it was some shit that was going on. And, you know, I guess, you know, the niggas wanted me to pretty much be like, you know, like a soldier. But yeah. I, I was a leader. So I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to follow their rules. But, you know, I said some crazy shit. Then Bishop said some crazy shit in the Sister and Sister magazine. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You know what I'm saying? I want to ask you about Dumb One, man. Dumb One, he getting older, man. Dumb One is a, a, a one of those guys, man. I always followed him, bro. And I know y'all was both, y'all was together. Y'all was, a, he was in that uh, uh, PMC, uh, that last one. Was he there? Was he that? I choose you. Trash like the That, that, that one with Outcast and Pimps. Yeah, all of us was there. Yeah, he I, was I, there. I actually put them, I brought them all together. She gets no love. She be cross country giving all that she got. A thousand a pop, I'm pulling. Because but was he Pimp at C. the one that, he, wasn't, he was on the one with 50 Cent too. Hooray! Hooray! I bring you the chosen one, Big Jeffrey. Oh no, he wasn't in there. Yeah, he was in yeah, the Pimp Yeah, he was in there. That's he what was I in thought. the Nelly Pimp Juice. He was in the yeah cast. yeah he always so, so was cast thing was a uh, 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 Pimp C gave me he put me in charge of bringing all the players so Valentino from Dallas you yeah, know Memphis I shout out Valentino so, I love so we Valentino got all them, and then you know we called uh, all the players you know and we got them all there and uh, we was able to you know put that together you know what I'm saying me and you know Don Juan but I want to ask about Don Juan Don Juan is like when I was in prison right and uh, I was on my way home it was a it was a magazine. So, so the, the magazine, the magazine, right? So I cut a magazine out, and it was a picture of Don Juan with his jewelry on, and I I used that like when you was in as, prison. Yeah, yeah. I was going. I was like about two months. I used that as motivation. Wow. You know, I would look at that thing. At this time, I just didn't even know Don Juan. You didn't met him. No, I seen him. You know, because you know, I used to hang out. You know, I ran away from home, and I used to stay at this hotel called the uh, the Madison Hotel right there on Madison, California, you know, and you know, me and my brother used to paint our mustache, act like we was over, you know, to get in there to get, cause then you have, you just had to look ground. So we were, we were in there acting ground and stuff, walking there with beer, you know, but you know, we had ran away from home. So we was standing at this hotel. So a dude named Chocolate Dice and all the pimps, they used to come and Bishop would be coming down the street, down Madison, and all the pimps would get excited. They go down one, they go Bishop. They go Bishop. So that, that's the closest I got to him. But when I got in prison, I seen the picture. So I took a picture of him. So in 95, uh, this guy, you know, I see him at this place called Mr. K. He said, hey man, you know, we could have a player's ball. You know, at this time, I'm top flight pimp now, you know, hey. I'm, you know. I'm really pimping, so you know what I mean. I was like, man, you know, who gonna be there? He said, Don Juan and Ice T and all the. I said, yeah, man, I'm gonna come to that shit. So I gave the nigga five hundred. I didn't even know this nigga. He could have been running game. I gave him five hundred dollars for a VIP. So uh, I came to the party. I walked in there. Is at the Brothers Lounge in Madison, on Pulaski, you know, on the west side. So I go up in the motherfucker, and I seen Don Juan. That's my first time seeing. It, it was like me. I seen like a that. superhero. I said, damn, that nigga that's hero. That's Don Juan. But then, you know, I was pimping Ken. So I'm talking all this shit. And I didn't, remember I told you, I didn't know I could talk shit. So I'm up in there like, yeah, man, who bitches these? You know what I'm saying? I'm talking and, and running my mouth and, yeah, man, all these bitches just send me, hey, bitch, take one look at her. Hey, bitch, let Rosewood be your choice. And I ain't trying to impress them. That's just who I was. You know what I'm saying? Then I drink a little bit back then. So I was amplified. And so Bishop now was laughing at me. And then that's the first time I seen Ice T. So I'm talking shit to the council. Yeah, bitch, hold up a blow, a barbecue meal. And Ice T standing right behind me. You know what I'm saying? He laughing. So I look back, I see I said, oh, this nigga like this shit, right? <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? You know, that was that. I never seen them niggas again until the next year. They threw it again because the niggas like, you know. No, actually, after that, they invited me to the West Side. Okay. And they started hanging out with me. So, one of the things to hang out with Bishop, you got to buy him some Moet. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, we had to buy Moet to kick it with Bishop and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's just, you know, how them niggas do it on the West Side. So, we got to buy them Moet. We kicking it. And, you know, we just start fucking around with each other. You know, and then all the niggas in Chicago, you know, I'm from Chicago, but them niggas, I didn't know them niggas like that. These old niggas, pimp niggas. So, they start fucking with me. They start liking me. And they was like, man, woo-woo. They started inviting me to all these parties and shit. Then I got cool with him. You know what I'm saying? So, but well, how we really got bonded was with Pimps Up, Hoes Down. Okay, yeah, I, I remember that. I told you that story. So when I met them on the second player's ball, I see like, they go Kenny Ivy. You know what I'm saying? So me and him got real.
really cool. And that's how our relationship extend to this book today. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, you know, me and Ice got cool. And then, you know, ever since then, you know, me and Bishop, you know, we had our little ups and downs. You know, one time I said something <laughs> slick in the magazine. I said, man, you know, I ain't with that church shit. And, oh, uh, damn. No, nah, no, nah, I, I, I was doing it because it was some shit that was going on. And, you know, I guess, you know, the niggas wanted me to pretty much be like, you know, like a soldier, but yeah. I, I was a leader, so I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to follow their rules, but you know, I said some crazy shit, then Bishop said some crazy shit in the Sister and Sister magazine. So finally, if you go on, on YouTube, you see where he came to my house. Yeah, I invited him to my house, him and the porn star Pinky, the dude uh, Richie Rich, they all came to my, you know, my little baby mansion, Kenny Red. You know, so we sitting there, I got him food, I had a feast for him and shit, and then we got on there and said, yeah man, you know, Hey man, you know, uh, I gave him like some money. I don't know, two hundred dollars or something. I said, yeah, man, I gave Bishop some money, man. I paid the church, man. I went to church, man. I fuck with the church, you know. And so the niggas like, yeah, nigga, that's all you had to do, nigga. Don't <laughs> don't talk about the church, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, I love the church, you know what I'm saying? I love them niggas. Now the, his right hand man, Reverend Simo, became my partner. You know what I'm saying? He came to my daddy's funeral, and so it just we just all came. Together. It was weird, man. How like. You know, it was confusing because, you know, me being Pippin Ken and being the loud mouth young dude and Bishop being the laid back player, you know what I'm saying? It was kind of, they thought it was conflict, but it really wasn't. You know what I'm saying? I love Bishop and Bishop and Simo, they put me in the game. It wouldn't have been no Pippin Ken if them niggas wouldn't have had the pimps up hoes down. So that's how niggas got introduced to me through a platform that they initiated through uh, Tracy, which was uh, the nigga uh, 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 King Burt's cousin. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so that's how we all got did tied you, in. Did you, um, uh, how, how, when he first started hanging out with Snoop, did that surprise you or did you see that coming? No, we had already, man, I'm telling you, man, all the select, all, see, you know, I was hanging, you know, I was, now he was Snoop Dogg hard. No, nah, but you got to remember, we was always with celebrities. He was with Ice T before Snoop. <laughs> yeah, remember? sure was. So all the celebrities wanted to be around the pimping. But you know, they was with, he was with Snoop, but I was with everybody. Yeah. So you understand me? So it was like, you know, it was a good thing because I was hoping that one of them niggas would see Bishop and Snoop relationship and fuck with me the same way. Yeah. And you know, my thing was, you know how I get down, it was gonna turn into a bag. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You yeah. me? So that's that's what I was the I said, man, if I could knock one of these niggas, man, these niggas, you know what I'm saying, they realized the value of the pimping and the rapping, you know what I'm saying? Me? So the nigga that stepped up to the plate was Pimp C. Yeah, dope. So you understand know me? Lies. So 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 Snoop Dogg was Bishop's, you know, person of interest and uh, uh, Pimp, uh, C. Uh, Pimp C was my person of interest but I also had Too Short I also had Outkast I also yeah. had Lil John. so what I wanted to do to separate myself from Bishop was I wanted to be cool with everybody, everybody. you know what I'm saying and I got on everybody album and then that created a check for me yeah we on Boss Talk 101 yeah we gonna talk yeah we on Boss Talk 101 yeah we gonna talk